in last two videos we have seen how to create the custom form and how to add the validations to the custom form fields you can find the link of those videos in the description in this video i will show you how to create the table and uh, submit the form data into the database so for that first i will create one dot install file and inside that file will create that database table schema and we will create the table and after that we will insert the data into the table so for that first i will create that install dot uh, dot install file in a model so i will create that file using the trash generate trash generate install file so this command will create this file with the some default schema so now it is asking in which model you want to create that uh, install file so enter the employee model name or model name is the employee the this file is created employee dot install file now go to the code explorer and inside the employee model you can find the employee dot install file so this file is generated using the drudge generate so in that uh, these are the defaults field created now we need to change this field as per the requirements like in our form there are total four fields we need to add those fields to create the table first i will change the table name from employee example to employee only so our table name will be the employee and uh, inside that uh, there will be one id field that will be the primary field and uh, we will remove these fields uid it is not required we will keep the status field uh, now i will create the field for the first name so uh, column name will be emp underscore first name length 30 characters and description will add employee first name so I may copy this and create the column for the last name employee last name and uh, we will keep the length as it is change the description to the last name now create the uh, one more column that is the email employee we will give the that column name as a employee email length should be the 100 and in description employee email address now one more field is remaining that is the employee zip code so for that we will create the emp let's call zip code so that will be that field will be int so we will copy this one type equal to int not null default value 0 description it will be the employee zip code now i will delete these fields which are not required and uh, in the indexes we will remove these two fields just keep uh, indexes for the status field because we are we are having this field in a table so in my now go to the php my admin and in your database you can see that table is not available employee table now we will install this uh, module again to create the table so for that first we will uninstall our module command for uninstall the module is crush un and the module machine name the module is uninstalled successfully now to create uh, that table we need to again 
enable or install that model so brush en and uh, model name to install the model using the brush so the model is installed successfully and uh, these steps you need to perform if the model is already installed so otherwise you don't need to uninstall that model now go to the php my admin and we will see if the table is created or not we will search for the employee table here the employee table is created with the this fields id status employee first name employee last name email and the zip code now we will add the code in our form to insert the data in, in this table for that go to the this uh, inside the src form folder and click on the employee form dot php file uh, in the last video you can see we have added the these validations now we will submit the, this data so first we need to use the include the class database connection class so use drupal core database now from this class we will create the one object connection object to store the data in a database dollar connection equal to database colon colon gate connection now we have created the database connection object now get the all form fields in one variable so for that uh, dollar form fields equal to dollar form this first state gate values now create the one array for the form data so this is required to insert the data in a database first we will create the this employee name which is the column name of our first name and uh, this is the field name now copy this and create the other fields as well let me for the last name i will copy this employee email employee zip now we will write the insert query so query is dollar connection insert table name or table name is the employee insert that uh, fields and pass the form data array and execute the command so first we will clear the cache and we will check if the this for insert form function is working or not cache is cleared now go to the that form page refresh it now enter the data employee data first name last name employee email address and the zip code and now click on this save button 
now go to the database table employee table and uh, refresh this here you can see the data is successfully ins inserted into the table now we will add the one more again click on the save the data is successfully inserted into the table now uh, you can find uh, this code on this repository i will add the link of this repository as well because uh, now i will push this code to my repository github repository right now it is not available the dot install file so first we will hit add that file module custom employee model git commit m git table and insert data git push origin main so this will push the all this code to the this github repository this file is created and you can refer this file for your practice purpose and inside the form as well we can see this code is added i will add this link inside the description i hope you like this video please uh, subscribe the channel thank you